What's up everyone, it's Angelica here. I am going to talk about how to set an intention behind a habit change. I get lots of messages uh, from people asking me, you know, how do you stay motivated? How do you, um, you know, get so much uh, determination and self-discipline? And you know, part of me, yeah, it is my nature, but there is a part of me that have set some intentions behind every habit change that I've made and still make in my life. And when I look at people and they ask me a particular question, like, you know, how do you, you know, like if you have kids that might resonate with you, you know, how do you get your kids to eat healthier, right? Like how, how did you change a whole a family to eating the same stuff as you do? So my intention when I made those habit changes around the eating was not only so much that I wanted to um, become a healthier version of myself, but I wanted to uh, have my family and my kids especially because they have uh, you know, my genes and they are now on the spectrum of um, you know, the kind of the bowel cancer um, you know, kind of radar that they had a strong foundation in having a healthy diet. And, but what happens is when, you know, it's very easy to say that on the outside, but you know, when it comes to practice, people fail doing that because they don't really have a really strong intention uh, to, to really complete whatever they, you know, they set themselves to do it. So when it comes to intention, you know, if I ask you, what is it one part of your life that it doesn't matter what happens, uh, that you are always able, you are always able to to really follow through and you're always a able to keep it, whether that is good or bad, you know, like, let's say, like, um, you know, when I look back at my life, let's say the, my alcohol consumption, you know, it didn't matter um, if I was too busy to go to the store to buy alcohol, I made sure that I did, you know, so I could have enough alcohol so I could drink from Thursday to Sunday, okay? So that is a habit, uh, it's no different than any other habit, it's just that that habit didn't serve me and now I have habits, uh, well, I decided to make, uh, to change, um, you know, to following different habits. So what I'm trying to say here is that, you know, if you really set the right intention behind a habit change, you can follow it through. But the truth is, when you set a hab uh, an intention that is kind of, ah, uh, you know, if I get my kids to, you know, eat healthy, it will be okay. But if I don't, you know, then what can I do? Then obviously you're going to fail at that. You know, like, oh, if I, you know, stop drinking it would be better but if I don't then well it's life isn't it then most likely you're gonna fail so setting an intention behind each habit change a strong intention of you know really um, wanting to make that habit change as important to you as any part of your life that you that you kind of manage well now and you are in control of and that you feel that you're successful at when it comes to working on that part of you the part of your life that it's not working well it's that shift in intention and mindset that you need to bring towards the unsuccessful area of your life and make that as part of um, you know a really strong intention to change in that so hopefully this is helpful thank you so much for watching uh, if you have any questions please uh, let me know if you're watching this um you know replay i'd love to to know as well like hashtag replay me and uh, and ask any questions as well uh, and i'll see you guys on the next live take care